Welcome back, this is Yamba Jack. We got Gunslinger, Zed's Diner, Suicidal. Again, we got the, the flashing you are here to clean out Zed's. goodness over there, which uh, which I don't like. Let's go take a look at it. Why do they why do they make this flash like this? You know? It's not flashing that bad anymore. Oh yeah, it is. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's fine for uh, for people with uh, prone to seizures and stuff. But like even me, it's kind of like, eh, I don't really like looking at it. It's kind of just, uh, unpleasant to see and, uh, see all that flashing. It's, uh... So I'm, I'm trans, right? I've, uh, been over that a few times. And, uh, I'm also, like, straight, so I, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm into men, right? I like, I like guys. And, uh, as, as a woman, that makes me straight. Um, but... There are, there are like so few straight trans people that I uh, that I know of. Like they, 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 they just it does it doesn't happen, right? Like it doesn't it doesn't happen. So when you're uh, when when you're when you are a straight trans person, people get surprised by it, right? They're like, wait, what? I'm like yeah, I don't know. It's like it's just that's just the way I am, and uh, you know people accept it. They don't really care, um, except for when they. Uh, Except when they do, but I don't talk to those people, so it, they don't matter. Um, but it's like uh, you'll 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 say you're like straight in like a trans community or something. They're like, oh well, you're so brave for coming out. <laughs> like eh, I guess so, cause like you know, it's uh, it's unusual from a uh, any kind of like LGBT community for there to be a straight person at all. Um, because most people who fall into the LGBT community tend to also fall into at least the LGB part, regardless of what other uh, letters they also fall into. But uh, not me. And I don't know. I don't really like the labels to begin with, because I don't think it really gives the whole story. So you got like uh, you got people who are bi, right? And it's like, you know. Okay, so you're bi, do you prefer, you know, men or, or women? And, uh, you know, typically, typically they'll have an answer. They'll, they'll have, like, one side that they prefer, and I'm like, okay, so, like, why isn't, why isn't there a different word for people who, you know, prefer it for, for, uh, for men or for women? And for people who are, like, utterly un, well, for people who are, like, completely unbothered by gender, there's, there's pan, I believe, but, um... Like I just, I just don't like the labels, cause like, who cares? You know, just like who you like, you know. But uh, you can't, you can't get away with not using labels, cause uh, everybody likes their labels. You can't be away like, oh well, I just, I like the people I like. Like, no, I need to know. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, you know, cause, uh, cause for me, right? I, I call myself straight. I call myself straight. Um, but the, uh, the reality is like, I don't know. I've uh, I've had relationships with women before, and I don't regret it. You know, like they were fine, and uh, like you know, if I found somebody again and they happen to be a woman, I'm not gonna be like, oh well, sorry. You know, you're really, really lovely, but uh, you're a girl, so you're out of here. You know, I I probably wouldn't fall for somebody who's a woman just in the first place, but like it 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 could happen, and then. Uh, by 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 like being steadfast, you know, straight, then I'm I'm kind of ruling that out. Whereas uh, by uh, by by kind of being more open to it, I, I feel like I'm not ruling it out, and it's just kind of a there's no there's no point to it, you know, to me anyway. I uh, I feel it's it's not something I feel super strongly about, but it's something that I uh, that bugs me because uh, you know some people get so passionate about like are you straight or are you gay or are you bi or are you this or are you that? And I'm like I don't know, I'm me. I'm, 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 I am who I am, and that's, that's all that matters, it's, it's, it, does, it, it doesn't matter, you know, if you're, if you're wondering if I'm interested in you, the answer is no, sorry, you know, but, uh, can't, you can't get away with that, you can't get away with that in this, uh, in this world, because people love their labels, everybody, everybody needs to have a, have a label, you know, gotta walk around the world with, uh, with your name tag on, hi, my name is Charlotte, and I am straight, Otherwise, uh, otherwise people just don't know how to act around you. And I'm like, why are you acting differently around people just because they're different? Like, 
Like, well, I don't want to offend them. I'm like, so you would like choose to offend in a way that would you you you'd choose to act in a way that uh, that would offend somebody who's not there. Like I just I don't get it. Like I don't really care who's there. I'll, I'll act pretty much the same way no matter what. I mean, you know, outside of like professional scenarios or you know uh, grievances or, or whatever, where where you have to kind of behave differently, like. You know, the, 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 the people I'm talking to uh, don't really matter for how I'm going to be behaving because I don't, I, I, if you're offended by what I'm saying, then we probably shouldn't be talking um, or I should, uh, I should learn why that offends you and if, if it's reasonable, <laughs> um, then I, I should stop doing that in general because, you know, you never know who's, uh, who's affected by things and you never know who's. You know, okay, okay, so let's say uh, you're making uh, gay jokes or whatever at uh, at uh, nobody's expense, but, uh, you know, around somebody who's gay, you might not feel comfortable with doing that. Well, what if the, the person you're talking to hasn't told you that they're gay? And, like, what, what if they have, like, uh, a sibling who's gay or, or whatever? It's just, I don't know. It doesn't, the labels just don't really matter. They don't, they don't, they don't affect you, but uh, for some reason they matter so, so, so much. And, uh, to me, it just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just, I don't get it. Like, uh, there's some, some labels are kind of important. Like, uh, me being trans, that's, that's obviously something that's, uh, that is important. Um, you know, letting people know about that. At least people who are, who need to know about it, um, is, is, is important. You know, doctors and, sure, I'll secure this area. This area? Heck yeah, let's do it. Uh, doctors and partners and you know, whatnot, they, they, they deserve to know, and in many cases, they, uh, they, they kind of need to know, um, about, uh, who I am, because it's just, uh, largely, you know, better for, for everybody if, uh, if they're in the know, right? Whereas with, uh, with being, like, gay or straight or bi or whatever, it's like, nobody ever needs to know that. It is never information that's, uh, that anybody needs to know, you know? Your doctor isn't going to change your prescription because of it. You know, people shouldn't be acting differently around you because of it. Um, and anybody who, you know, might want to know if you'd be a potential partner can just ask and you can just be like, nah, sorry, dude. Not into that. You know? Like, I, I, it just, uh, to me, it's, it's there, there's just such this, uh, an importance placed on, um, on the labels and... It just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I'm not mad at people who want to use them, because, you know, if, if, if that's the way you are, then that's the way you are. If you like them, you like them. Um, and it's not like we can just suddenly decide that we're not going to use labels anymore, right? Like, the world has been built on on labeling people and uh, making sure that our differences and and uh, are, are very clearly defined and... Uh, that we are able to uh, very easily disclose these differences because it's important for everybody to know what's different about you. But, heck yeah, you're damn straight, it's fantastic work. But, I, I, I feel that it would be better if uh, if we just didn't have them in the first place, but, you know, they're just not important. They're not important at all. To me, if they might be important to you. If they are, then... That's that's your own prerogative, but I personally I I, I feel like they don't add anything to uh, to uh, anything thing of, uh, of of substance to uh, to people's lives, you know. I don't I wouldn't say flawless. <laughs> I wouldn't say flawless. Thank you very much, though. You're very kind. You're very kind. Um. Yeah, I don't know. They just uh, to me it doesn't make sense. And it's an argument that I have with people quite often. They're like, well, I need to know it so that, uh... Because it's just, I need to know this information. I need, it's, uh, it's information that's prudent, you know? I need to make sure that I'm behaving right, or I need to make sure that, um... You know, this or that. And I'm like, it's just... You don't need to know. It doesn't affect you. You know? They're either, either interested in you or they're not. And you can just find that out. Like, well... Like, I'm not going to pursue somebody who's, who's, who's gay because, uh, you know, I'm straight and I don't want to, I don't want to bother them like that. Okay. But if they said they're not interested in you, you would, you would decide that that's okay to pursue them then because, you know, now they're not gay. So it's, 
it's okay. Like, I just... To me, it just doesn't make sense. It'd be funny if we died to the matriarch on this fight. Because on the last one, I talked about how uh, pathetic she is. You know? So that'd be very funny. But I don't think it's going to happen. And she gets kind of shredded by the other uh, deagles. And then the glocks as well, to a certain extent, anyway. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Anyway, that's enough of the uh, the gay stuff. We don't need to be gay here. It just bugs me, man. It just irks me. It irks me. How how badly people need to know. Like why? 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 Why does it matter? It doesn't matter. I will do another Zed's Diner run here. And we'll find something else to talk about, something with less controversy. I try to avoid the controversial topics usually, genuinely, but sometimes it just comes out and I let it happen. I don't, I don't block it out, you know. Like I was saying, I don't think that, uh, you know, I'm me. This is, uh, this is, this is what I am. I don't think I'm doing anything that uh, that I I have to be ashamed of personally, and I'm I'm sure I've done many things that could be considered offensive, but you know, it's uh, I'll apologize and and uh, deal with it when I get there. Um, but just, uh, if it happens, it happens. There are some topics that I don't want to talk about at all, right? Some topics that I would definitely, like, block myself out of, of, uh, of talking on, uh, on stream or on YouTube or whatever. Hold up, I have to adjust my chair. I need to get a new chair just because, uh, I sit forward when I'm streaming, and this chair leans back. So if I'm sitting in my chair using the backrest, I'm actually sitting way back here. I have to lean pretty far back like real far back and then I, I'm able to move all the way up here but there's like probably a foot of space between my back and the back of the chair um, which is not good so I want to get a new chair that gives me the support I need to sit up straight um, cause, because I don't have that support I'm kind of like slouching a little bit uh, and it kind of hurts my uh, well I don't think it's not hurting my back really um, but it's, it's definitely not good for my back, so I gotta, gotta work on it. But there are some topics that I definitely won't talk about on, uh, on, um, on YouTube or Twitch or whatever. Uh, because they're, they're just, they're too bad. They are too bad. I feel like, uh, the LGBT stuff is, I mean, it's who I am, and I'm probably going to be doing, like, live vlogs at some point of, uh, my transition progress, and, um, I want to be a resource for people who are going through what I've been through. Uh, and, you know, going forward, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm making as much of the progress as, as publicly as I can so that people can see uh, what, what, what it kind of looks like and what you can expect. And that's kind of my goal with, uh, with a lot of the YouTube that I haven't really talked about. Um, but that's, that's for, for well into the future. Um, we'll have, like, a, a first video uh, that outlines the, uh, the... It's like a year or two away, right? But... Um, of like a first video that's outlined all my progress up to that point and how I got to it and then we'll kind of go over all the steps that I took and the problems that I faced along the way and, and all that kind of stuff. I've been logging it down but um, because I'll be doing that eventually I don't mind talking about some of the uh, the LGBT stuff just because it is, uh, it is a big part of who I am and going forward it's going to be a big part of the the channel you know years in the future. <laughs> it'll be it'll be fun because it'll eventually happen right? And uh, I'm gonna eventually like I'm gonna go from like this variety gaming channel to uh, and I'll still have the variety gaming stuff like that's my main focus on the channel of course it always will be um, to like an odd live trans vlog every now and then right and uh, it'll be it'll be uh, I think I feel like it'll be a shock to a lot of the viewers if uh, if I've managed to build up an audience by that point anyway um, I might end up making a new channel for it depending on how it goes and, and how I feel about it it might not be worth um, you know, putting that into people's sub boxes and, and seeing how it goes. But, you know, I'll think about it when I get there. It's Like I said, it's years away. I got lots of time to think about it, and I'll be able to, uh, you know, talk with, uh, with the viewers and then see how it goes at that point. See what people feel about it, but it's, that's up in the air. Anyway, that's going to be a, a part of the, the channel or the, uh, my online, like, business in the future, right? So, uh, talking about it now getting it out of the way early. I feel like uh, building it up as, as a part of the channel, something that I, I do talk about on the uh, 
somewhat regular anyway is, is, is perfectly fine in my opinion, even though it is definitely a controversial topic, which it shouldn't be, but it is. Um, but, you know, regardless. Uh, other topics that I uh, that are controversial that I would talk about are... Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, there have been a few videos like that. I've actually deleted a few videos because I talk about things that are controversial. Um, I talked about uh, America once and uh, America's politics and stuff and I got to the end of the video and I'm like, why would I talk about this? Why would I do this? <laughs> you know, like, in what world can this be considered a good idea? It's, it's just such a terrible idea. Um, so I ended up deleting that and re-recording it. Um, definitely don't want to talk about politics on this uh, on this channel. Never, ever, ever. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing major anyway. You know, if somebody, if uh, you know, current president does something terribly stupid that everybody is in agreement that is stupid, um, then uh, you know, I might make uh, a couple of uh, offhand remarks about uh, about it in a joking manner. But that's like the extent of. Uh, of the politics on this channel, there just there won't be any, right? Um, because I just I don't I don't feel like it adds anything. This isn't a politics channel. You know, that's not the point of this. I feel like uh, what I want to be is uh, is an escape from the uh, from the world. You know, somewhere that you can come and you can uh, you can talk about you can listen to me talk about things that are just completely unimportant, and uh, you know fall asleep to it or clean your house to it or play some games while you're listening to it in the background or. Who knows what? You know, you're probably not gonna be watching it, so. Well, probably not too regularly anyway. I'm sure there's some people who watch them. It's like uh, like Linus, like uh, Linus Tech Tips. They do the WAN show, right? And they they often say that like, well, yeah, you're you know you're probably off clean or whatever. Like nobody's gonna be sitting down watching the stream and full screen the whole time. And uh, I'm like, no, I definitely do. <laughs> I definitely do. Um, I definitely do. I watch uh, I watch the WAN show in bed, actually, uh, and I can never fall asleep to it because it's it's too interesting content for me. Um, so I just lie there and I, I, I actually watch it. And uh, they'll often like pinpoint people who watch. Uh, they're like, well, nobody watches this live, you know. Or they don't they don't see nobody watches it live. They're like, nobody's watching this like um, just sitting down and and, and watching it. But uh, to me, I can't personally watch podcasts and stuff while I do other things um, I just I get distracted I can't I can't focus on uh, on the two things at once but uh, anyway it's kind of what I aspire to be is uh, is the per is that I want to be the person that people put on when they go to sleep you know I want uh, I want I want people to fall asleep to my voice <laughs> it's a weird goal to have right it's a weird goal I know it's a, it's a terribly weird goal but that's that's kind of my goal is uh, as, as I want people to be falling asleep listening to me talk about groceries. You know, once I get a comment telling me, like, on, on the least important video of all time, okay? I want it to, like, it's got to be a, a video where I talk about just absolutely nothing. Like, I'll be talking about tomatoes and, like, how I cut tomatoes and why I think the way that I cut tomatoes is the best way to cut tomatoes. And, uh, you know, make uh, the way that I feel the best way to cook the tomatoes and season the tomatoes and... What kinds of tomatoes are actually the best kinds of tomatoes for the various applications that you can use tomatoes for? And, uh, you know, it's just, um, utterly just garbage content, right? But, uh, one day we'll have, uh, we'll have this kind of video. It's like every day, but, you know, it'll be, uh, one day, one day I will have a video that goes up and it's, it's talking about just the least important stuff and somebody's going to comment on it and be like, Oh, I really love your videos because they're so nice to fall asleep to. It's uh, it's really nice being able to put your 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 thing on in the background and and just uh, listen to it and, and fall asleep. And I'm gonna be like, I've done it. I've succeeded. <laughs> you know, like that's 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 my that's my ultimate goal. Because to me, that is the ultimate compliment. That is, uh, I try to uh, I try I I don't do a great job of it, but I try to keep the uh, the audio balance fairly well done. Um, so nothing is standing out as too loud, and I try not to, to yell too much and stuff, so that uh, the voices are fairly consistent. Um, and the, the sound and levels and all that are, are pretty consistent. I'm, I'm trying. 
I'm not I'm not there yet, but uh, I am I am trying. And uh, you know, eventually, eventually people will be falling asleep listening to my uh, listening to my videos. And uh, to me, that is that is the ultimate compliment because it means that uh, that they like me, they like my content so much that uh, they'll use it for background noise while they're sleeping. You know, being able to being able to accompany somebody while they sleep, even uh, even years after I'm uh, I've made a video. I don't know. It just uh, to me, I, I think it's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a fun idea, because I fall asleep listening to uh, to people all the time, all the time. Like um, Fiki Breaker, I fall asleep to listening to quite often. Uh, he does like modern Minecraft videos. I fall asleep to uh, Rikesy quite often. He does old school RuneScape stuff. Uh, I fall asleep to Northern Lion like almost every night. Uh, I fall asleep to Chills RS. He does uh, RuneScape 3 content. Um, like, I like having people on in the background. And uh, the more I like somebody, the more I want to put them on in the background, you know? And, uh, I don't know. So, so to me, having people fall asleep listening to me is, is the ultimate praise. It's the ultimate praise. I want, I want people to, to throw on a three-hour-long VOD as they go to sleep. And uh, just leave it running in the background as they snooze away. And then have uh, the other people in the household be like, Hey, why were you talking at 3 a.m. last night? And they're like, No, I actually fell asleep at 2, but Yamba was going on about uh, tomatoes. <laughs> you know? That's uh, that's my goal. That's, uh, that's what I strive to be. So if, uh, if you're putting this on as you're making dinner or something like that, as you're, as you're cooking or cleaning or, you know, doing whatever, and you're getting your chores done, sleeping. I, uh, I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy to hear it because that's what I wanted. And I know that I know that some people do it. I know that uh, there's, I've had a few people tell me that they put on my videos as they uh, as they do stuff. And um, yeah, it's just it's a good compliment. It's a nice thing to hear that I'm what you choose to. That while you're doing something, you choose to, to put my content on. I don't know. It's just uh, it's a certain there's a certain gratification that comes from that. And some people might be offended, like, oh, well, they're just like just I put a lot of time into it. I wish you would actually watch it, but no, no. Maybe that's it. Maybe I don't put time into it, so I'm just like, heck yeah, dude. If you want to sleep to my content, then like, go for it. And if I put like a ton of time into it, I'd be like, why are you sleeping? I put like 18 hours into this. Like, look at the look at the video effects that I did. I don't care about the video, I care about the, the commentary, so maybe that's the difference. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. I have to go stream. Um, you won't be able to watch it. Well, the VOD will be up at this point, but <laughs> see ya. Bye-bye. Subscribe and like and comment and stuff. Bye.